Hey everybody, it's me, Lady T, coming to you with a quick video of making plant stands for my succulents that I got from Dollar General. As you can see here, I'm using three Jenga blocks and I'm laying them on their side and gluing them together with hot glue. I would suggest that you use a more permanent glue like an E6000 glue or a Gorilla Glue um, for a more permanent hold because during this project, mine's kept coming loose. But I wanted to hurry up and do this for video purposes so as you can see. So I made four sets of three, looking like a, a T, I guess, and um, painted them black. And now I'm gluing them together with one of the square pieces of wood from Crafter Square. You know, it comes in a pack with a lot of squares in it. So I painted those black, and now I'm putting the um, succulent, the plant stand together and uh, I put it together wrong that's why you see the glue on the top of that stick but I got it together so here you see me putting it together again I would suggest that you use a stronger adhesive for a better hold in my case I'm doing this for video purposes however you will see me putting some fix all glue on it to uh, make it hold better and that leg is a little crooked but that's okay you can fix that i fix it later then they're trying to adjust it now i'm going to use the fix all with a stick to put it on so that i can get keep a permanent hold on this the little stands are really cute and they have these type of stands that you can really purchase from um uh Walmart and probably from Michaels and you know other craft places but it's fun making your own so I got the box of Jenga uh, blocks the tumbling tower blocks as they're called at Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five. and here I'm just showing you ways to extend it if you want to make it taller if you want to set your two pots next to each other and have them staggered in height then you can always add another um, block to it. Now here I'm putting some uh, mosaic mirror on here. And don't rub your finger on it like I did because you will get cut. That Don't do that. That's real glass and it will cut you. So I put the mirror on all outside, all four outsides, not on the inside. And now I'm going to, isn't that cute? Just wanted to show you it's on all four sides. Now I'm going to place that same uh, mosaic mirror on the top of the pot. These little pots have a little weight to them too. They're not heavy, heavy, but they're not plastic. They're not plastic. And here you see me, I'm patting the glass onto it instead of really rubbing my finger across it because it's not a good idea to rub your finger across that that's real glass so in order to not cause injury i'm patting it and that just gives it another look if you like high-end things this can just add a little high-endedness to you to your pot which is succulents now i did get these succulents from dollar general not Dollar Tree, and I only paid a dollar. There you go. I love that look. Now, I did the other one with um, some of that metal ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree, but I don't know what happened to the footage. Um, if I can find the footage later, I'll, I'll add it, but I, I don't know what happened to it. And now I'm using rub on transfers, y'all. I see everybody using rub on transfer and now this is my chance to use them and I got these from Dollar Tree I felt like a real crafter using the rub on transfer <laughs> I caught the boat late but I caught it Isn't that pretty rub on transfers I'm telling you whoever thought of that all right that's the look those are the two looks and see that iron ribbon i got that from dollar tree as well i don't know what happened to the footage but i'm just showing you this for an upcoming project and 
how I cut those sticks with the uh, dog toenail cutters. I promise you, I don't know where they were in my life before, but I'm so glad I got them. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and share. Um, please leave me a big thumbs up so I can get an algorithm and more people can watch this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to your comments. And just want you to know that I appreciate you. Lady T signing out.